This conference will now be recorded. I don't know whether you have created or not. Hey, can you hear me? Please speak out. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, good morning. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now see here. I want to create few more entities first. Okay. Because I think we have seen string real integer enum. Na? I will create the reminder as well and I will call them generic entities because now you know what are the entities and how to create them and how to work with them. So I will go to data types. I will take the edit date and I will call this as ICI generic date. Click on the add button. Well, this is my generic date edit. Let it create. It will take a minute of time. Okay. Now see here. If I go to the properties of this date edit, you can see label help text. This is a generic day entity and I'm going to use in a lot of tables. So I will not define the label and help text property here. And the next properties that you can see is date day, whether you want to display date or not. If you want to display the date, if you want to display two digits or one digit. Similarly, date format, whether you want to display year month date or year date month or month year date or date year month, you can specify that. <clears throat> and then whether you want to display date month or not. Whether it should be if it is January, whether you want to display the whole January or 01 or 1 or just JAN, first three letters. So depending upon the requirement, you can set the property here. And then date separator, whether it's a hyphen, slash, dots, like this, whatever you want to dash hyphen. So whatever you want to specify, you can specify for the date separator. Date year, whether you want four digits or whether you want two digits. The display length, you can set it up. What are the value? And these are the behavior properties, which will be same everywhere. And coming to the data properties as well, they will be same. Okay. Similarly, I will create a date time. We will see the difference. What's the difference between date time and date? Okay. I will call it as ICI generic date time. <coughs> Go to properties. Now you can see the difference is did I create date or date time? Oh no. I think this is a day or oh, generic date time. Okay. Date format date month date separator but this is a edt of date type okay i want date time one second so once you have created edt you can't change the type here so you need to delete and then recreate one second click on the add button new item oh i choose the date i need to take date time it is a date time and you can call it as ici generate date time and click on the add button okay now it got added if i go to the properties you can see time now time format whether you want to display 24 hours or whether you want to display am and pm whether you want to display time hours or not time minutes time seconds what is the time separator you prefer whether it's a colon dot space comma slash and this is one more interesting property please remember you need to use this time zone preference property carefully if you set it to auto ax is going to handle the time zone by itself okay and it will take the utc in the database whereas if you set it to a specific time zone then you need to manage the date time because the edt will stick to that particular time zone the date time will stick to that particular time zone Please remember this is very very important okay because for example if i take uh, example of some countries now like i can say european in the european uh, you have belgium for example okay there will be two time time zones here one will be plus one and one will be plus two okay so that's how it goes they will have the daylight savings and depending upon the time zone you need to manipulate the data which is very difficult so whatever you need to do is you need to plan very carefully Okay, please remember this. Next, let me create a new entity and let me call it as generic GOID. I will call it as ICI generic GOID. Okay, this is the next entity. Click on the add button. If you go to the properties, you will see very less number of properties. Okay, this is same. These are again uh, the same as the previous ones. This is also same as the previous ones. Only the appearance, you can update only help text and label. Global unique identifier. 
it's the unique value that you can define across the globe okay because <coughs> because <coughs> that global unique identifier will be generated on the basis of on the basis of many things okay first of all it will also consider your location it will also consider your uh, area and everything time so it will be unique in nature okay so you can generate generate some geoids you can see the values here it will generate okay so please remember the possibility of having this global unique identifier to be a duplicate is very less you can see here and uh, uh, if this many units tens hundreds thousand thousands lakh ten lakh crore ten crore hundred crore if you are generating hundred crore geoids per second for one year the probability of duplicate would be only 50 percent okay so well, that's very big deal i can say okay the possibility of duplication of the guid is very very low okay please remember that the next thing let's go back to the next utility click on the add button new item and we know already we need here in 64 is same to the same of that ici generic in 64 you can save this click on the add button click on the add button new item and we took time okay i see i generic time okay so already we saw the date similar to the date oh but i think i am not creating the time entity here it should be something different just a second okay time only good okay so you can see this is using the edt inheritance there is a system edt called time of the day and then it is extending using the edt and you can change the time format only okay so this is about the time edt similarly let me create one more new item and then is there anything else that we need to create container see here this container is used to store the blob okay for example if you want to store some uh, blob data then we will use container because the container will create a blob inside the database please remember this okay please remember this and the container will not have any properties except label and help text okay so in ax2012 we use this container whenever we have the requirement of storing the images okay the customer requirement would be to store the image okay that is one way and the second way is resource file we did not use resource file there is a specific reason because a resource file okay storing uh, this in the resource file Okay, it's possible and you can retrieve it, but it will consume more time. Okay, which is why we used to store the data in the blob. Okay, depending upon the documents or whatever it can be, we will store in the blob, we will retrieve, we will convert, we will open. Okay, whereas in the Dynamics 365, there is no need of using this container because we will have the Azure blob storage, you can use it. And <clears throat> there is one limitation because people used to ask this question as well. Okay. What happened? What is the difference? If I store this in the D365 in the database, and if I store it in the blob storage, okay. Few times the customer will say blob storage is costly because each and every time you insert or update the data in the blob, it's chargeable. Okay. If you don't want to have that chargeable, you can again have it in the have it in the. I think the session is recorded by them. I'm not going to record the session one second let me check i don't see the recording option here new meeting just a second here i am checking because the, they will record the session i i'm not able to see that record button as well okay so they will record the session don't worry i don't think uh, because previously i used to do that but currently i don't have the access here to record Okay, I think they might be recording the session. Uh, if you want, it is not recording. if it record, oh. then it will show the record button. Okay, also. then uh, can you do one thing? One second, let me ping them. Huh? <clears throat> Give me a second, I will ping them.
okay let's see what they say because i can't see the recording button itself here so i have doubt okay okay so this is about the container okay it's recording they confirmed all right okay so now the next should be these are all the edits that we create okay now the next step would be let's create few more tables here we have created this address table now i will exclude these tables because each and every time it syncs it will take some time for this table so i'm excluding them i will create address table and right click click on the add button new item now let me take a table okay and then let me take this table here so this table will be ici customers okay let's create a customers table now and then add the data for it okay the table name is ici customers and then we are going to add the customer data for it and please remember whenever you are working with the tables whenever you are working with the tables you should be finished the base enums and edits by then okay you got it whenever you are planning to create the tables you should be finished the extended data types and then base enums okay now can you see here what are the edits that we need to create ici name it should be already created ici date of birth it should be already created ici mobile number and then the remaining edits okay so please remember the edits should be created by that and then the base enums okay so whenever you are working with the data what is the flow the flow is the first step you need to create base enumerations the first step you need to create base enumerations the second step you need to create extended data types the third step you need to create tables and then you need to move forward this is how you need to work okay so if you have defined the proper architecture then this is how the development goes now let me get back and i think here we are using one base enum is that right we are using only one uh, base enum which is gender and already we have created it and coming to the mobile number i will use i will create one generic string and i will use it okay i will create one generic string of the size 30 or 40 characters and i will use it but when you are developing please remember try to create the edits and then use them okay in, the, in production you should not use generic edits that's a bad practice if you are using the generic edit or the primitive type it makes no difference okay so you need to use specific edits so but for the time constraint i will create them because if i need to create edt for each and everything and if i need to update the properties that is going to take very long time so i will be using generic edts but please remember in the production you should not do that i'll set 50 characters got it next <clears throat> i have the customer table now sometimes people used to question me okay if i create a table first and then edit is later on is it going to work or not it will work yeah it is going to work but if you follow that sequence you will not forget anything okay now what are the fields that we need to create name string and then you can take for the name let me go to properties and update immediately okay if you are taking the generic strings now you need to update the label at the table field level because the same entity is being used in two places and the purpose is different okay for the name you can define the label and then you need the date of birth go to the generic date and then you can use it drag and drop and call it date of birth done and the label would be date of birth done and the next one would be date of name for the name date of birth mobile number address okay 
mobile number so i will add one more i will take this generic string and this would be a mobile number and then the next one is address building number building name oh, i will create the remaining building number building name email id all this i will create first okay and before creating that building number and building name i want to leave one more thing okay sometimes what people will say is okay instead of having the building number and building name you can also have address line one and address line two you can do that as well okay you can do that as well how to do that so see here you can create one more edt click on the add button new item and this is the edt string you can call it as ici address line okay and in this address line you can go to properties you can set the size to 20 characters each okay and here you can see there is something called array elements you can add one array element okay so if you add one array element it will take it as address line and then address line one okay i will call this as address line one so if you add one more element what it will do it will consider that as it will consider that as one more element okay and you will have three so for this one i will set it to address line as the label okay this is one more way with which we can create the array of elements okay this is also possible okay this is also possible and that's all up to you whether you want to use the address line or in this fashion okay i will open the table and show you okay i see a address line let me drag and drop here now this will be my address line and this will contain the building name and building number okay so I have a single field, but if I open the table, you can see two fields. Let's see that later on. Okay. Next step. Now let me go back. Here you can see email ID, occupation. So for email ID, you can take one more generic string and drag and drop it here. You can call it as email ID. okay you can call it as email id you can set the label to email id and then occupation you can take the generic string and you can call it as occupation here occupation here and then pan card customer id okay you can take the generic string this is for pan card this is for pan card and you can call it as pan number okay and the last one is what is the last one customer id for customer id actually there are two things okay one is you can create a direct identity if you want to enter the data but actually entering the data for uh, crores of customers is a big deal yeah so what we need to do instead of creating it as a it as a user entered number we need to make it auto generated number if you want to do auto generation then we have something called number sequence okay we can set it up for the extended data type i will say i will show you how to do that once we go to the code okay now i will take one more edt string i will call it as ici customer id click on the add button go to properties and then you can have i am using 20 characters that's up to you whatever you want to use i will not define any label or help text here okay and you can drag and drop this ici customer id to the fields and then go to the properties you can call it as customer id okay now that we are done with almost all the fields now now there are a few things okay i want to set for this table and then we'll go back okay so what can be the unique index and what can be the duplicate index here can anyone tell me uh, in the meantime i'm going to drag and drop all the fields and name customer for ID, name. Customer ID unique. 
okay name mobile number can be uh, cluster index okay customer id x can be unique index so you are saying customer id this is good the next one it can be new index and you will go to properties you can add a index called name idx and hello duplicates should be set to yes and then you need to drag and drop the name good now again you said there is a third index you can call it as mobile number idx and then you can drag and drop mobile number and that's up to you whether you want to use i'm using this as an alternate key and if you want yellow duplicates i don't know because duplicates are not allowed for the mobile number okay so this is how it goes now done now again full text index uh, now there are no descriptive fields here no full text indexes relations we should have the relation with the address table now how to do that okay to do that there are multiple ways from that i will tell you the first way okay we will see the first way now i have the address table I will create a new extended data type. Click on the add button, new item, and then I will take it in 64. In the index. Huh? If you want, you can, can use it. it. But actually, email ID is not needed because all the time, if you go to the bank, you will search with the name or mobile number yeah. or your PAN card number. If you want to create, you can create for PAN card. For email ID indexing, it's not needed. But if you want to create, you can create. If the requirement is there, you can create. Okay. Yes, you can go ahead. If the requirement is to search on the base of email ID, then you can create on email ID as well. Okay, ICI. I will call it as address foreign key. Okay, I am calling it as FK. Please remember, I am calling it as address foreign key. In this address foreign key, I will go to the properties of this address foreign key, and then you have a property called reference table. I will set this reference table to ICI address okay ICI address and label I will call it as address because anywhere you are using this that will be the label if I expand this table references you can't find anything you can create a new table reference and you can see here you got it automatically the table name is ICI address the related field you can set it to record I am using record as the related field please remember save this now if I go to the table relations there is no need of defining any and you can't do that as well because those are obsolete table defining table relations at the edt are obsolete okay so we we will not define anything here and going further this edt relations will be removed completely next <clears throat> i'll go to solution explorer and i have this address foreign key i will drag and drop this to the fields oh i got some pop-up up to now i have drag and drop uh, that many edits i never got it but you can see now i got the pop-up it says whether you want to add a foreign key relation to the reference table ICA address. If you want to add the relation between ICA address and the address foreign key, click on the yes button. Now you can go to the properties again and you can change the name to address. Okay. You can change the name to address. Done. This is how the relations will be created at the first point. Okay. <clears throat> the relations will be created at the first point and uh, this is not the only way yeah. there are multiple ways to do that okay and now the next interesting thing would be the properties of the relations okay the next interesting th thing would be the properties of the relations so what are these properties and what does they indicate exactly let's look at them and then we will continue with the relations okay so just a second i want to just paste my ppt here so that it would be more meaningful for discussion now you can see First one is create navigation property methods. We don't want any navigation properties now because we are not going to navigate anywhere. Use default role names. Let it use the default role names. Validate. It should do the default validation. Cardinality. This is interesting property. Okay. Cardinality means so for one record in uh, address table, how many records can the customer's table have? For one record in address table how many records can the customer table have one is to one one is to one. Oh, that means one zip code will be there for one home then 
No, for tax or break. <laughs> it will be one to many. Okay, I will tell you it will be zero more. Why it is zero more? Okay, for the from that street there is no bank bank account. It is a reference data, so data will be there. But in that street, my bank does not have any accounts. That will be the zero. Okay, now in that street I am not operating my bank, but that address is there. Okay. So cardinality will be zero more. And the next one, entity EDT relation. This is not needed. Okay, we are not defining any EDT relations. Entity relationship role. Okay, so this entity relationship role. If you are using any entity, then you will define the entity relationship role. If you are using the related table, you will use the related table role. And these two are not needed all the time. They are optional when they are needed. Let's say here I have the one relation with the address. If you have multiple relations with the same table, if you have multiple relations with the same table on this customer's table, then you need to define the table role. Otherwise, defining the table role is not necessary. Okay. And index or which index you want to use? I want to use the record index. The name is ICA address. Navigation property method. I am no I have not defined any, so there is no need of adding it. On delete, we will come back to that. Related table name is ICA address, related table cardinality. Okay, in ICA address, how many records can be there? If there is no record in the ICA address table, do you need to allow creation of the customer or not? Based on that, you need to set, set this property. If there is no record in the address table, you should create the customer or not. Please speak out here. Yeah. No, no. Then exactly. what we need to set here? It should be exactly one. Okay. Next, uh, I told you about the related table role. Now you can see here relationship type. This is interesting. In this, we have association, composition, link, specialization, aggregation. We will see what are those. So I am setting it to association for now. Okay. I am saving this. And then uh, we are done with creating one relation. That will be enough for me for now. I will do a rebuild. Okay. Minimize this. Let me open this proper. Now we will see what are the relationship types that we have. Okay. In the relationship types, the first one is association. Okay. So association is a simple foreign key relationship. Simple foreign key relationship means if you have one to one relationship or if you have one to many relationship or if you have many to one or many to many then we can use association okay so after speaking about association i used to get a question all the time but then other than this what else do we have other than this what else do we have okay people used to ask me because this uh, this is where yeah if you are if you are just simply Working on two records, na, two tables, na. These are the relations. Either it can be one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. If you don't have any one of the scenario, then there is no relation at all. Okay. So people used to think I will apply always association, but this is not the right way. There are few more things and few more parameters which need to which we need to consider. Okay. For example, for example, let's say if your working in a company okay how many types the employees are divided the employees can be divided into how many types two types ex employees current employees and how much you can drag this employee i can make an employee a software engineer i can make an employee a tester i can make an employee a manager the same employee employee is same here but they are holding different positions is that right they are holding different positions okay like this if i take an example of an entity let's take a car okay car is an entity and uh, what does this car has it has got the wheels it has got the steering is that right is that right so there are few things here there will be few parts what, what will be there? There will be few parts which which are 
mandatory for this car to function similar to a human body okay if the human body should function perfectly na you need uh, eyes you need hands you need all those things because those are the part of the human body so like this whenever you are working with the tables as well you will find different types of relations okay because i told you the employee example because that you are going to find it in many places okay and you when while working with the object oriented programming as well we are going to use the same thing we will have all these things in the object orientation as well the relationships okay from that the first one is association which is very simple which will indicate one to one one to many many to one many to many relationship okay here you have, there are two examples you can see student teacher and bank employees because they are one to one or one to many relationship you can have it okay the second one is called aggregation what is the second one the second one is called aggregation aggregation as it shows it's a special type of special case of association and it is representing a unidirectional association you can see that it indicates unidirectional association what is unidirectional association unidirectional association is the one way relationship where if you have two entries both can survive individually you have table a and table b okay both of them has the relation both of them have the relation okay but if you delete the record in the table a even then the table b record has the value got it if you delete the record in the table b even then the record in the table a has a value okay if there are two entries and the entries has their own their own specification but they are related then we are going to use aggregation okay if the both entries can survive individually and if it is a unidirectional association we are going to use aggregation okay and if you ask me did you see aggregation in any of the standard tables that's a very rare case let me check let me try to go into the customer table and see or the sales table because that will contain lot of relations so i'm <laughs> just opening the sales table okay it will have some 40 or 50 relations and we might get some information let me open in the designer mode now you can see here relations let me go to properties okay this is association this is association 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 link common okay hey can you see this what is common you will get it out okay let me show you what is common i am going to the customers table and if i did right click and view code extends common now let me go to solution explorer and let me open one more table and then let me view the code extends common common is like object for tables all the tables in dynamics ax are derived from common which is why they have specified it as a link can you say this they have not said any cardinality but they have specified it as a link here because sales table can be link can have the link with this common table buffer my customers table can have link with this common okay next contact person association 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 okay you can see here that's why i said association is used uh, more than 90% of the times okay i can say 95 near all the time we will use association and in very rare scenarios we will use aggregation and others okay but you might ask me why what is the importance of this there is one special importance here whenever you are trying to import or export the data na then data entities will consider this data entities will consider this relationships they will respect them if you don't define the cardinality property or the related table cardinality property the data entities will not work please remember okay they will respect this the next one is composition composition is a special case of aggregation okay or in the other words you can say 
restricted aggregation is called composition and this will indicate part of relationship okay so the composed object cannot exist without without the other entity for example you can take the human body human body is composed of hands legs ears eyes okay let's say can you make your hand function if you kept it on the table okay someone cut your hand and kept it on the table is it going to work no if you have taken out the tires of the car can you drive a car no so it will indicate part of relationship if there is a tight binding between two tables if there is a tight binding between two tables then we are going to call it as a composition in case of composition one entity cannot exist without another entity one entity cannot exist without another entity okay the last one is called generalization and specialization here you can see there are two mechanisms in one of them you can group objects into a single in the other you can divide and rule okay you can divide the parent object into subclasses now you can see if i am student is a ex student student is a current student okay if you are driving this in this way this is specialization top down approach if i go from bottom to up it will be a ex student can be a student current student can be a student that will be generalization okay that will be generalization similarly you can see there will be example for the employees as well employee can be a tester can be a developer and the tester will have the tester now if i take it from this way this is specialization and if i take the bottom up tester is an employee developer is an employee that will be that will be generalization now Position. here this employee is, this employee is like an abstract class okay and tester developer all these are the subclasses this is how we work this is how we work okay done now this is about the relationship types that exist in d365 now actually we know only one type of relation we will discuss about the others as well okay it takes some time now let me go to the customers table back again and let me open this table i told you a few things let's see because we have created few more entities how data will look like let's see all those things we'll create few records okay now let me select the new record now let's see what we all get now if i select the address i got noida chennai bangalore new delhi and three columns okay which we have selected in a auto lookup which we have selected in a auto lookup now the next thing address line this is a building number or building name whatever you want to enter you can say 103 sri venkateshwara apartments customer id 1001 date of birth you will have a lookup here for date of birth you can select anything there are no validations so you can give in the future as well we will see how to add that validation later on and then email id a.a.com for the name chiranjeevi mobile number 998 4909490 name this is how you can simply create the record and you can save the record done okay now this is all good now we know how to create the customers table and we have created the one now what i want you to do i want you to create the remaining tables but we forgot one thing here i forgot to add the gender value how to do that now go to station explorer and then you can go to edt enums take the gender value and you can take it here and you can go to properties and then you can add gender okay so here there are two things here 
one is inserting a new field into your table okay there are multiple things okay let me explain you i will call this as gender now what you can do what you can do for the existing table i can create first one i can create a new field second one update existing field okay these are the two scenarios that you will have very regularly okay create a new field i will directly say i will directly say here will there be impact or not if you create a new field in a table because whenever you are doing this kind of things you need to do the impact analysis will there be impact or not there will be impact if you add this field to a unique index without data got it because what people will do is they will create a new field and in the development environment anyways we will not have the data or they will test it in some uh, one or the other way and then they will do a sync they will not get any issues if there is no data okay because if there is no data this is a valid scenario once you have the data in it that is a empty so obviously if there is a duplicate in the first field now nah, you are going to get the issue if you are not setting yellow duplicates to yes then you will obviously get the issue so you need to remember whenever you are trying to create a field and you are trying to update it in a new field on the existing table you need to ch you check the index if you are creating an index obviously it will cause issues the second one is updating the existing field here there are two things here okay one is upgrade size second one is downgrade size so what people will do is previously it was 60 characters now they will change it to 50 characters because the some customer or someone will come back and say i don't want 60 characters going further i need 50 characters they will immediately change it because it is going to take a fraction of time they will go and change in the edt done so what do you need to do this should not be done directly instead of that you need to perform the impact analysis where all places edt has been used where all places edt has been used and then you need to check if there is if the data has 60 characters anywhere okay because you are going to change the size now let's say you are changing the size to 40 then you need to check 40 to 60 characters anywhere and then if it is there you need to get that data you need to ask them what should be done with that and generally you need to modify okay this is how we need to decide but frankly speaking the people will never do that they will simply update the size and then later on they will get the issue get into the issues okay because one edt multiple places so you don't know okay because once it goes into support now nah, i will say around 50 or 100 people might work on it so we don't know who is going to change what so if you change because i have the ICA name as the edt but you know somewhere else if the requirement is uh, 60 characters people will not create a new edt instead of that they will use ICA name that's a very bad practice i have created the generic edts now nah? in production the people will do the same but that should not be done in production you need to work with the specific edts okay yeah and this is how it works uh, let it build we will uh, update the value of the gender and then we can move forward okay we can close the session in just a second in the meantime if you have any questions you can let me know one question uh, in in the relationship type we, we had uh, use everywhere association or 90 percent of uh, time but uh, in composition uh, hmm. we can have a sales and sales line example that sales line can't exist without uh, sales table 
it's a one to many relationship it depends okay what they have defined let's okay. see they defined association because we didn't find composition there so i thought <laughs> they they must define a composition no, no. there no no because it's a one to many relationship na so they will define association obviously if you are defining the composition you need to remember that both should be very tightly coupled okay if they think they can uh, exist individually then they will do that okay because they will define the delete actions and composition okay, so they will consider both, very rarely okay. Mm -hmm. okay so both have dependent on each other both yes. existence okay yes. because you can have the sales table record without a sales line yeah both are not tightly coupled here okay and uh, one more question about the address line mm -hmm. uh, you have defined an array length of 20 characters mm -hmm. uh, no that address line edt has a uh, length of 20 character and on that we have uh, created a add uh, error element yes and then suppose if you create another error element those uh, is it divided into two parts 10 10 or no no <laughs> for all the three you will have 20 20 20 so whatever the okay. size you depend on the entity all the elements is going to have the same okay any other questions uh, let's wait for a minute because it should finish loading it will be very interesting yes the dynamics 365 as more you learn it will be very interesting yeah because uh, it's a erp so you can learn the business processes the more you learn the more interesting it will be now i think i have defined the gender let me go to that one second gender where is it okay default it took as male good okay done save Close. we are done this is how we are going to work with the tables okay now i will tell you the remaining notes as well very soon once we finish off the relations and delete actions i will go with the methods okay yeah that's it for the session if there are no other queries i will end session for the day yeah, and then we can I, again I have, one, one uh, I have one question go ahead uh, yeah uh, can you open please uh, uh, table designer one second uh, no i mean table data yeah table data table browser i mean okay uh, here we have selected the address uh, by address lookup and hmm. it shows us the rack id hmm. not the uh, record it is a zip code it will show you the it's, primary index the zip code okay it, it is showing zip code okay hmm. but in relationship we uh, we had given drag id i guess yes in, it does not depend okay. on that one huh? it depends on the data what you have okay here the index field is zip code it's showing this one so here it shows the index value primary index in, uh, after okay okay and if i want to show uh, more than one value by selecting the address is it possible in the same table it Suppose will show yeah. select... if you use the okay. composite key, na, then it will show i have used only zip code as the index na. instead of that change the primary index to country state by setting a yellow duplicates to know it will show all them okay it depends okay. upon and... what of the primary index you select okay if i uh, defined here composite key, key then i can have uh, two different values. Uh, yeah, I mean, the two values from the same record. Yes, two values from the same record in the sense. Uh, oh, that means uh, hyphen. Yeah, it will use hyphen and then it will show you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? And it's yeah. Is its color is uh, different. It's blue in line. So it's uh, automatically later hyperlink for that. Yeah. Okay. If you click on this one, right? actually, if you you can set up a link for this one so that it will navigate okay. to the any one of the screen or something like that which is why it will give you the hyperlink 
Okay. Okay. But actually, currently we have not set up anything for the TDT. So you can set it up. You can set the set up the form help. Then it will take you to the particular form. Okay. 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 Yeah. Any other queries? No. Thank you. Thanks all for the session. Let's meet again on Monday same time. Thank you all. Bye.